So we got our board today, put a little tutorial together on how to replace your main board when it goes out in your LCD HD TV. Stay tuned. Hi, today we're going to be replacing the main board on a Vizio LCD HD TV. Um, you can order these online and I'll go ahead and post the link to where you can order your main boards. I got mine personally off of eBay from Viz Parts and it shipped within one day. And I got mine for $119 which included shipping costs. And so here's what a main board looks like and we're going to be replacing ours and RTV which was built in 2008. And what happened was our TV started going black. It was dimly lit, backlit from behind, was not happening at all. And pretty soon we could only hear the sound and there was no picture visible. So after a little bit of research, and I've never done this before, being a do-it-yourselfer, I decided, heck, it can't be that difficult. I'll just replace it myself and save myself, what, $800? I love savings. So this is what we're going to focus on today and let's get started, okay? So first of all, when we're removing the back board here, we remove every single one of these screws. Now I know that it seems like it's a lot of work and it's kind of a scary undertaking, but really it's no big deal. And on some of the older Vizio TVs, if it's not an HD, you may have to remove the base first. So you just remove these screws here and right in here, and then your base actually just slides straight off. So that's easy. But on this one, uh, we won't have to be removing the base at all. So we'll go ahead and get started by removing these screws. And they're very easy because they're short screws, so they don't take any time at all. Very critical to remove these screw screws here and also these down here, because you're going to have to remove these in order to get this off. So this whole assembly here can lift up so you can get to your main board. All right, that was our last screw. Get that here. Now all we're going to do is go ahead and lift this up and it should just look straight up. So now, as you can see, we have what we're going to be replacing here, which is the main board. Now, I know it's the main board because I've ordered one, and as you can see, it looks identical. So there are a few things that I need to tell you about before we replace this, is there are some plugs that we are going to have to remove and unplug. And those go very easily. You just unplug them. It's very simple. So I'm removing these little plugs here. These are pretty easy to remove, this one. And then as you see, we actually have a ground wire. So you have to take your screwdriver, it's a small Phillips, and just undo this, pull that aside. I'm going to set that right here, just stick that right there to hold that aside. And then another little plug. I have to apologize for my bird every time I'm using tools or something and I'm not paying attention to him, he starts screaming. All right, there's another little plug here I've been taking down. And then we're going to have a series of screws. One, two, then three, then we have four, five, and then we may have this screw to take off. Also, I'm not quite sure. So let me go ahead and remove these screws. You'll know how many screws you're going to have to remove if you start to get confused because on your new board, as you can see, you can see the holes where the screws go. So you can just kind of follow that pattern and then you'll know what screws to take out on your existing main board. Okay, as you can see, I'm removing the screws here for your outlets, right here, for your high def for your USB cables. So you're going to have to remove those screws as well along here, just so you can pop this out. And um, even though I have a very short screwdriver, I'm having a little issue getting into this area right here. Luckily, on the back of your Vizio, there is an area where this holds your cords, and you can actually push in on this and remove this little plastic housing, and that way I will be able to get my screwdriver in here to get these hard-to-reach screws out of here so we can remove our main board. All right, now I've removed all the screws, and now, as you can see, we have the cable connection here, and we have a little hex nut, and so we have to either take a crescent wrench or me, I just went ahead and grabbed a plier, and I'll loosen it this way. And now I can just do it with my fingers, unscrew that. So then that way, we will be good to go and get our main board replaced. 
All right, I just removed that, and I just realized that we have a data port here, and as you know, the data port also has little nuts. Um, I'm going to go ahead. This one is, I can do with my finger. This one was a little bit tighter. I'm going to go ahead and loosen it like that. All right, here we go. All right, so we have one there. Uno, dos. There we go. All right, so now remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey always. And now, as you can see, the board just slips out very easily. And I have this little screw here that I already unloosened earlier, and so we'll just pull this right out. All right, now I just released this screw off of here, but I wanted to show you this is the most difficult plug that you will have on your um, main board. And you have to be careful. This one slides out like this. you got to use a little a little bit of strength and see that one just slides in and out just like this. I do apologize for my bird. He's upset. I put him in the uh, back room and he's upset because he's not out here with me. Um, all right, so now we have this out. And now we're going to go ahead and put the new one in. Now all we have to do is just retrace our exact same steps and as you can see, uh, when you come down here, you can see that all this just fits, this component just fits exactly how the old one was right there. Now all we have to do is just start reattaching and replugging in where we left off and attach our screws. It was that simple. So right now I'm just reattaching all the nutsies and boltsies that I had undone. And then I will get my little crescent wrench and tighten those up. So I have this, and then also I have these little bolts that I need to attach in there. That way this will hold this in firm. And then I can go ahead and start um, putting all the screws back that I have removed. All right, so so far that's really good already. And then I can start replugging this in. As you can see, I just take this little plug and... It plugged in very easily, and then I have this plug here. I'm going to replug right back into here, and that is very simple, and that's in. And then we have this one, as we discussed earlier, and this one has to plug in this way. It just slides in. It's a flat, and we just slide it in and just push our fingers in a little bit, and there it is. And then I'll go ahead and get the screw and reattach this to hold that in place. And we'll just go ahead and keep doing this, and then... We'll be done in just a few minutes. I sew a lot, and so I like to magnetize all of my screwdrivers, and to do that, you just take a screwdriver and rub it across your magnet like this, and then it will automatically magnetize your screwdriver. So if you do drop one of these or while you're unscrewing, it makes it just a little bit easier. So I'm going to go ahead and magnetize this a little bit better, and then that way I can pick these up in case I drop them. It makes it just a, so much easier to work with. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start plugging these back in. And then I have my little screw here that we removed to attach this right here in this order. So see, we just do this. Then grab my little tiny screwdriver here and go ahead and put that in. Here's our little screw for this area. We'll have this done, folks, in just a little jiffy. Okay, I've just finished putting in the last of these screws that I've taken out and I've tightened up these nuts here. Everything's been plugged in and now I'm ready to put the bag back on. I've got to hurry because not only is Tiki getting anxious about me finishing this, but today is also Super Bowl Sunday, so my husband is really getting nervous about me getting his TV done in time for kickoff. So I've got, I must hurry. Picture is good and it works. Just testing. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. My husband is very excited to get this TV up and running now before kickoff, aren't you? He has a little more faith in his do-it-yourself wife now. Hallelujah, brothers and sisters. Okay, so this makes for a very happy Sunday. My bird is happy. My husband is happy. What more could a wife want? <laughs> Our dog, Patrick, he's anticipating. I'm going to push power on. And we do. Hooray. All right, it's fixed. We have official...
TV. So as you can see, it was very simple to remove the entire main board from your TV. I mean, it took what, a matter of just a few minutes? I think the most time consuming thing is removing all of the screws. So you have to have a little bit of patience because there are a little few hard to get areas. So you're gonna have to have maybe a little screwdriver and I would say, I would suggest a small crescent wrench I think would really be helpful if you don't have a plier. But it really, it was so simple. I mean, I've never done this before, but look how easy that was. So don't ever be afraid to try something. And, and besides, if this, uh, board that I ordered does not work. I can go ahead and send it back. I can get a refund. However, I will have to pay a 15% restocking fee. And um, then I could go ahead and either purchase a new one, get one off of Craigslist or eBay, or go ahead and purchase one at one of the big box stores, or even have this one sent out to be repaired. However, I got a quote on this, and they quoted me, um, it was $800 to repair this. So I would rather try spending $119 and doing it myself as opposed to going that route at this point. That's a crazy bird that's making all this noise during the video. He just wanted to say hello to everybody. His name's Tiki.